Hey, this is Alex with Designs by Blue Star. Today I'm going to walk you through this project management spreadsheet. It's available in um, Google Sheets. I'm going to kind of show you the tabs, give you some tips and tricks, and um, the link to this will be in the description. Thanks. All right, first of all, let's do some boring stuff first. If you click in a cell somewhere and you're not supposed to, you're going to get a heads up. Don't ignore that unless you know what you're doing. You're going to either cancel or click the X. Boring thing number two. Let's, instead of dragging something like this, don't do that. That ruins things. That screws up your formulas. Don't do it. Copy and paste. That's actually just a rule for all Excel files, all Google Sheets files, just all spreadsheets. Don't do that unless you know what you're doing. All right. Those are my two basic boring things you guys need to know. Um, now let's get started into here. So you can see there are, I believe, 17, 18 different tabs if you include the instructions. I want to walk you through this, so I'm not going to go through the instruction sheet. Here's your setup. Enter in your project names. Person. I'm going to add myself. And then I'm going to do other status. Here, if you have a key, put whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it test. This is where you get to insert. You know, this is, this is only used for your daily task sheet. It's not used in a bunch of places, but sometimes it's easier for people to visually see versus, you know, reading it all the time. So here, if you want to add something, you can add an emoji, which I thought was fun. Any of these, you can do that. Or if you want to insert something from someone else, go image, insert to cell, and then upload it and add it. Your months, don't think we're getting any new months, but if you want to change languages, that's where you do it. Years, same thing. And then client notes, let's do test two, or let's do note two. Okay, that's pretty much how the setup works, like I said. We are on the dashboard tab now. I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller um, just so you guys can see more at once. I don't know. That's getting a little small. Maybe I'll bump it up one. Okay, you can see here, here, quick access. If you want to go to a project timeline, you can do that. You know, daily tasks settings, notes, wherever. Here's announcements. First of all, you have your date, and then you have your announcements. This is if you want everyone to see something. All you do is you just type in your date, posted by Alex, and type here. If everyone's going to the dashboard, they can see it. Down here, you can same thing. do this. Everyone can see it that has access to this. <clears throat> Here is your status breakdown. So this is showing you by all types, which we'll get into in a second. Well, we'll get into it now. So you have your project, which is your highest level, your task, and then your subtask. So you have project, task, project, task, subtask. There you go. You can see that, how you guys are doing, and then you can also see it by person. Progress. Well, let's go this way. Member workload, this is something nice just so you can see that everyone's contributing evenly. One person, you know, isn't overloaded. As you can see, person four has a lot going on. And you can also see what they've started, what's pending, kind of where they are with everything. Helps you if you need to redistribute work. Here's your days, how many days left and how many days have passed, kind of if you need to see how you are on your time. And over here is your project timeline progress. 
So two year timeline. Oh, let's go down here. So here's project two, or it was project one, your date. And then you can see over here every day. So this started on June 20th and it goes till September 7th. Every day you have something where you can write quick notes if you want to have kind of a calendar or um, a notebook or somewhere where you just have daily notes of what happened. This happened. This was problem. Computer crashed. Whatever. And you can see up here in black is your project. And then down here is task one, task two, task three. All the way down. Here's your second project. Same thing. Third project. I'm going to get into a little bit more detail in a second. Okay. Project five. This is assigned to person one. That's the date that it, you can see your headers are up here. Start date. And then let's say it needs to be done by the end of the year. Nope. There we go. And here, not started. And then here is design. And then task one, we're going to design. Task two, we're going to implement. My kids spell. Not my, not my best. Implement. I don't know if I spelled that right or not, but we're going to go with it. Task one. You need to brainstorm. And then you need to design. Implement, you need to implement and and test so let's assign this each thing you assign to someone person two person two let's do this to person let's give person two a break person three is actually going to be responsible for all of it and project let's switch that to ongoing Okay, for the design piece, we want to have that done by September 1st. We're going to brainstorm by, I don't know, 8-1, and then we're going to design by 9-1. So, we're going to start that probably not until we've done designing it, so let's do that. And then that'll give us, so we're going to implement it 9-1. We're not going to start testing till 10-30. You can see design, it's ongoing. Brainstorming, it's ongoing. And then design, not started. Not started. Not started. Not started. If you do here, it'll tell you how many days you have left to do it. If you do complete, it just shows that it's done. That's pretty much how that works. This data over here that we just entered is what feeds your dashboard. So you can see here, now there's project five, nothing's done, so that makes sense. Ongoing. All right, we're on the notes tab now. This doesn't feed into anything. It's just something. So if you have meeting notes, whatever type of notes you want, um, you have a place to put them. The setup, these note type right here is what feeds this. So let's go ahead and enter the date. Type. There's my test two I entered. Deadline. If you have one, and then whatever notes you want to type in. You don't have to enter a deadline you don't want to. You don't have to enter a date if you don't want to. Um, but just if you need something to enter. Here's your daily task sheet. Every morning when you get in, this will be the first thing. Kind of list everything that's on your brain. Do a brain dump and um, reset for the day. So this is automatically going to populate today's date and the time. So you're going to go in and delete everything from yesterday. Don't erase that. So task one, task two, 
And this is if you want to enter in your time. Show you how many hours. Land. You can see over here, you get this Kanban. Kanban? I think it's Kanban board. I might be saying that wrong. Let me know if I am. Um, that's going to complete for you automatically. And here, new task or in progress or whatever you got. You can see, I didn't make this small like I did the last one. Oh, I am on small. Um, it's automatically going to fill this in for you. It's really more fun when they're complete. On to the weekly schedule. So, this is the weekly schedule tab, obviously. You can switch your time intervals to whatever you want. I have them on 30 minutes, but 15 minutes, 30, 45. 45 seems weird to me, but you do you. In an hour. I'm going to leave it at 30. So at the beginning of the week, same thing as your daily tasks. Go in. Delete them all. That's how you reset it. Um, if you delete that, the color automatically goes away. But you can see here. The week starts, it's giving you the daily thing. You get to pick. The nice thing I really like about this is where I do task one, it's automatically going to pick up the oldest tasks so that if you have something that's outstanding, that's, um, you know, really just the oldest task to make sure that you're getting everything that needed to be done. Mark it off, though. It goes away. How fancy is that? And then over here, you can do if it's normal, if it's low, if it's high priority. And then you can, if you have goals or anything that you want to work on, do this. This does not reset itself, so each week, you'll just need to go in and delete it. Over here is your monthly planner. You can see um, you have one for each month. They're all the exact same except for the month is different. So here I'm just going to um, enter in my tasks, do this, meeting, don't forget, and then as you mark them off, they get a line through them, kind of gray out. Um, you know, over here, you have your tasks, and then you can do your priority list, deadline, event, done. That's my favorite. And then type whatever you want to. Type here and here. If you have any questions, um, please leave a comment and always like and subscribe. That way you can see whatever else I have coming out with. I never know what I'm going to build next. Sometimes it depends on my day, my mood, or just what I'm feeling. So, um, or what I'm asked to do a lot of times. So if there's anything actually that you need built, um, message me. You can get me here on YouTube, or you can also reach me on www.designsbybluestar.com, which is also will be in the show notes. Thank you.